So guys, I had to redo my videos, so sorry if everything's a mess and you can see a lot of stuff. But today I'm going to show you how to make some miniature squishies. And squishies are little pieces of foam that you can squish. And I know it's really weird, but they're really fun to make and to have. Um, I will have squishies coming in the mail pretty soon, so I'll be making a squishies unboxing. So hope you enjoy the video. Here's what you're going to need. You'll need model magic clay. Scissors makeup sponges or any sponges and if you want slow rising squishies miniature squishies then you can use memory foam which is really hard to get uh your hands on but it's the best believe it or not makeup actually works really well for this project so you will need some makeup such as lip liners eyeliners i use this to mark stuff on my squishies so it's very helpful last but not least you will need some glue and I use Elmer's glue, that's what I use. And you also need a little makeup brush to dust all the crusty stuff off because you're just going to need it. So let's get on with how to make squishies. First thing you want to do is you want to cut your sponge, which I already did because I had to restart the video. I'm making a donut, so let me show you how you can cut it. Just take some sponge and cut. So I use my lip liner to draw on a circle and make it cut and trim however you want it to be and I just cut out a hole in the middle so you can have your donut or whatever you want to do so I covered it in some foundation which is makeup and I made a hole in it to make it look like a donut a donut so um yeah so the first thing you're going to do is you're going I covered it in foundation, but I'm using Model Magic on this donut because I have another donut and it's not, it doesn't have Model Magic. Model Magic is the worst thing you can have because my panda bear, I made it out of clay of this Model Magic and a skinny sponge and this is happening. It's getting ripped for all that I squish it and it barely works and I use this type of sponge. Now you'll find that it's only moist, it only feels good when it's wet, but it's really crusty. And I made this ice cream cone, and really, it was a squishy, but what is this? What is this world? So, um, I'm going to mix up a couple colors to make a skin-colored-ish compared to this color. Um, stuff to cover our donut, so I'm just mixing some white. Um, you're also going to need Model Magic Clay if I didn't say that. I think I did in the beginning. And I'm going to mix some orange. You're going to need those three colors. Just a little bit of orange. Not too much. And you have this kind of thing. And you're going to stir it up. And mix it up. And Model Magic is really hard. And I, if you want really soft Model Magic, then I'd recommend you get a big bag of white Model Magic Clay and a 24 or 16 pack of uh, Model Magic, which is this thing, this box. And I got that, and I got a big bag of white Model Magic Clay, and white is the main color you always want to have because white, you can mix it with anything, or you can use white in general, and a lot of people like using white with colors, so yeah. Once you have it stirred, it should look like this. Very skin tony. And the orange makes it look more skin tony because if you won't add orange, then it'll just look not skin tone related at all. So I'm taking my foundation and I'm taking this one and comparing how light it is. And I, you can add some of it to this. I wouldn't do this, but if it's preferable, then I would do that. And sorry if it looks fake light, real light over there and fake light here. I'm just recording. And I use my recording light. And yeah. So the next thing you want to do is you want to roll it in a ball. And I'm taking a jar where I store my... Taking the jar where I store all my scraps and my sponges. And I'm rolling it out. So it's nice and flat. Then I'm taking a my tweezers 
and I'm grabbing my donut, putting it in the middle, and I'm starting from a corner, and all around the edge, I'm picking at it so it can peel off. And if it rips, that's no big deal. You can just roll it again. So that you will fail because you don't want it too thin and too thick, which is the problem. So I'm making mine just about thick enough to peel off and be sturdy and to fit my donut. So I'm just going to wrap my donut like a present. So you're going to make a little thing, little thing, a little patch of it. And you're going to put your pastry in the middle. You're going to put your donut on here, and you're going to do a little wrapping, like so. And you're going to want to pinch the ends that don't have any sponge on them. Do it with the same on the other end. So if there's any imperfections, then I'll just smooth that out, or you can cover that up with some more clay. So you're going to grab it, and once you're done covering your donut, you're going to take, um, what I do is I, for this hole in the middle, I'm taking my tweezers, and I'm poking that hole in, and I'm just making the donut look more donut, more donut-like, because it doesn't really look like a donut to me, and you know I like perfection. So, uh, I'll be back when I'm done with that. I used my scissors, or my tweezers, to make a little hole um, for the donut. To make it look like a donut. So then it comes to the fun part, which is the decorating part. So what I do is I take this, and I, have only, I only have a red, so I take some of my lip liner. And I draw on it. So. Just kidding. You thought I would use lip liner to color stuff? Well, ain't no. Nobody got time for that. So, I take some red and I mix some of the red in here. And I stir up this combination. And if you want to make a color, so you have red and it's really kind of dried out. Or if you have any color, add some, re if you have a color and it's really moist, then add to it. You always want to make sure you keep your white moist. Well, your white moist because it just is better so you can mix it with colors that are dried up and make the color moist. So... So I got this really pink color that I like for a donut. That's appropriate for a donut. And then um, I don't really like it that much, so I'm going to add uh, more white because I think it's too pink. Um, uh, have you ever seen those donuts with pink sprinkles? If that's that's what exactly what I'm going for right now. So I'm taking a half of... Just a little bit of it, and I'm using that for my sprinkles, because I'm going to have these kind of combination sprinkles. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my my clay, my model magic, I'm, put, I'm rolling it out, and I'm kind of mixing stuff in. And then I'm taking 
my scissors and I'm making a little kind of circle. And I'm putting that on top of my donut, poking a hole through the icing. And I'm making the icing kind of droop down like it would on one of those kind of fakish donuts like I'm doing here. I know it isn't a perfect donut, but in real life it looks better than it looks like right now. Then I'm taking my donut and I'm putting the sprinkles on, so let me show you how to make the sprinkles. Just taking some white, and I'm putting a lot of that in, so I'm rolling up the pink and white. I'm twirling it. I am mixing it up. So once you've got it all mixed up, um, once I've got it all mixed up, I rinse sprinkles, uh, my sprinkles to look like these kind of little pieces. I'm taking this. And I'm making little strips. But if that doesn't work, what I do is I just take this and I cut little chips. So once I got those, I put them on my donut. And you're done. You can, you have your donut complete. I know this is a really bad looking donut. But to spice it up, I'm getting my sparkle things, my nail gems that I use for my nails. And um, since my clay is still wet, I'm taking the flour. Bring it in. So that's how you make... That's how you can make a squishy donut. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and comment out below what you want my next video to be. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.